Well, Merry Christmas. My name is David Kenny, and I'm the pastor of Walden Community Church here in Montgomery, Texas. And you are watching us on YouTube. And we are going through our Christmas devotional. I'm reading it for you uh, every single day from now all the way through Christmas Day. Uh, we had these originally written out and we gave them away in a uh, church service, but I realized that, you know, not everyone is going to get to enjoy this. And why not just throw it out on the old internet and open it up, read a page, and we'll just all sit down and read it together. So December 11th, our passage is called A Song in the Temple. And there's a verse here from Luke chapter 1, and we're going to read verses 67 to 72. It says, And his father Zechariah was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he visited and redeemed his people, and has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets from of old, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us, to show the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. Have you ever played charades with your friends or your family? It certainly is difficult to communicate without being able to speak. After the angel came to Zechariah, he was unable to speak. For nine months, Elizabeth had some peace and quiet. But then eight days after John was born, Zechariah could speak again. I'm sure there was a lot that he wanted to say, that he wanted to shout, maybe even correct. But the first thing we see him do is sing praises to God. What would be the first words out of your mouth if you couldn't speak for nine months? Zechariah used some of the very first words to say a blessing over his new baby boy. He said to John that he would be a great prophet of God. Now, why was that important? Well, because up until that moment, there had not been a prophet in 400 years. Not only that, but Zechariah gives thanks to God for the horn of salvation. Do you know what that is? Yeah, it's Jesus. In fact, of all the things Zechariah sang about came true, and it is these eternal truths that have become the bedrock of our modern Christmas carols. Dear Lord, may we be like Zechariah and never forget to sing your praises, to sing of your name. Let our words of praise always be on our lips. Amen. Thanks for watching and be sure to turn in tomorrow for our December 12th reading. Hey, and one more thing before you go, I want to take a moment to remind you about our Christmas Eve services. We actually have two opportunities for worship on December 24th. We'll have a service at 5 p.m. and a service at 7 p.m., both of which are completely identical. Pick the service that works the best for you and your family. Our church has really enjoyed serving you and worshiping alongside of you this year. We would love to be the church where you live. If you'd like to learn more about us, you can find us at waldenchurch.com. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon.